Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Extro, X-T-R-O. It's a 1982 British science fiction horror film about aliens' abduction. It stars Philip Sayer, Bernice Stiggers, Danny Brennan, Miriam Doblo, Simon Nash, Peter Mandel, David Carty, and Anna Wing. And it's directed by Harry Bromley Davenport. The movie begins when Sam Phillips, played by Philip Sayer, and his child Tony, played by Simon Nash, are playing outside of their farm cottage somewhere in England. That is until a strong light appears, which happens to be an alien ship passing by, and somehow Sam has been abducted by a strong light. Three years later, the light returns and plants a seed, which happens to be a half-human, half-alien creature grows up, and when it moves, it runs over a car. A couple by the name of Ben and Jane were attacked and killed while looking for a runaway man. Also, another woman just came by, attacked, leaving her pregnant with a full-grown man came out of her room and turned out to be Sam Phillips who was actually on the ship three years earlier. Since then Sam was trying to contact his wife Rachel along with his son Tony which eventually they were living in a new apartment in London and since then Tony has been having nightmares about the same abduction that he's been experiencing ever since. So far, Rachel has been living with her boyfriend, Joe, a photographer, and a French roommate by the name of Annalis. When Sam finally came back to them, while he does remember his wife and his son, and then the abduction, he couldn't remember anything at all. So it turns out that he isn't quite the man he used to be. But his affection has been going stronger as he spends more time with his son, Tony. And as far as this affection has been going, Tony is becoming more powerful in, in the sense that his father was. And that's when things were going extremely wrong. And... I may have seen this movie a long time ago, and it has to be one of the strangest and creepy films I've ever seen in a very long time, even for a science fiction horror film about aliens. I know there were a lot of alien movies like this, but this one was eventually a whole lot different than any other. And what made it so creepy is the way the alien looks, all cheesy. And very creepy. It's like it's the kind of creature you, you really experience. And yes, it is pretty gross out as the film gets to it. Yes, there was so many gross out scenes into it that kind of gets to you under your skin. And there were other scenes that were so awkward that it just seems to go no place whatsoever. <laughs> like the scene when when Tony was already becoming like Sam was already becoming powerful and becoming an alien at this point he started controlling his own toys which eventually he had his own toy soldier and a clown dwarf as well as a live panther on their path yeah but the one scene I remember the most however was when a live toy soldier you know more like a person in a costume as you could tell just went by the neighbor's doorstep and killing her and I actually remember that scene in the film there were other scenes I remember the most was when Sam was eating the snake's eggs from Tony's pet snake Harry and there were a lot of strange moments in this movie altogether especially when, when the clown dwarf was collecting all the the aliens eggs from uh, the French roommate but it was actually good to see, um, it, you know, considering the fact that this is also Miriam Doblo's screen debut, 
this was before she was in um, the James Bond film The Living Daylights as a Bond girl. And then, of course, later play the alien girl in Something is Out There, which was a 1988 NBC miniseries, which I haven't seen in a very long time, but I actually stumbled for it uh, later on. And it was actually a very good miniseries that later became a TV series, which was short-lived um, back in 88. But, but I've yet to check it out again because I haven't seen it in, in a very long time. I remember, I actually remember my dad actually recorded the miniseries back in May of 1988. I was three years old at the time when this aired, so yeah. So I, I, I had trouble remembering what the series was like until I took a glance at it and now I remembered it. So it was cool. Yeah, she, she's a very good actress. She's also the, the cousin of actress Olivia Doblo, you know, best known for for the one years and Conan the Destroyer and the Big Green. She's a very hot actress, if you ask me. <laughs> but anyway, yes, it's a very strange but creepy film that was directed brilliantly by by writer and director Harry Bromley Davenport because I think he did a very good job creating this film. I know it's been getting a lot of harsh reviews from some major critics, but I guess once you get to it, you know you're going to enjoy it for what it's worth. But I, I really did enjoy it. I haven't seen it in a very long time. I've noticed that there have been a lot of cuts in this film. I couldn't believe it myself, too, when I saw that. But other than that, though, it still looks good. I've seen the sequel, too. Um, it was decent. Not as good as the first movie, but it was a good one, nevertheless. But, either way, I enjoyed it. So I give Extro, X-T-R-O, that's what it stands for, <laughs> three stars. I'm Joseph A. Saboro, and I'll see you later. Bye.